Hey guys, it's Dean Piccolo Z here. Today we're bringing you a special kind of video. We're going to be doing a deep dive review on a gaming laptop that we just got recently. And this is the budget gaming laptop that you need. We're going to be covering features. We're going to be covering specs. We're going to be covering how much it costs. We're going to be covering the benchmarks, the pros, the cons. And let's get into it. Presentation uh, of the product right here in front of you. Of course, like we said, we got the 3.5 millimeter head jack right there. We've got two USB 3.2 generation one type A USB ports right here. We've got our HDMI uh, 2.0, of course, Ethernet power. We've got one uh, USB right here, and then the Kensington lock right here and one Thunderbolt port for monitors. Alright guys, with some of the features out of the way, there's some that we will go back to um, a little bit later in the video, but you're probably wondering why is this budget laptop or this gaming budget laptop something that I need. Well, for $14.99 you are getting an Asus Tough Gaming F17 gaming laptop and the F17 is the 17.3 inch screen. Uh, more specifically, it's 144 uh, refresh rate with adaptive sync. It's full HD. It's got a nice, crisp and clean IPS panel. Uh, colors absolutely pop. The colors are amazing. Uh, you have a i7 core processor. You have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. You also have got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It comes also with a one terabyte SSD. It comes with Wi-Fi 6 for your Ethernet. It also comes with Windows 10. So you guys might be asking, what's so special about this laptop here? So you guys might be asking, you know, what's so great about this laptop that I really need it? Well, there's some actually some key differences here if you um, go between the uh, Ryzen CPU or the Intel CPU. See, the reason why I got the Intel CPU is because not only does it come with the i7 core processor and it's an 11th gen, but it also comes with the 3060 graphics card versus if you just go with the AMD Ryzen, the 7 5000 series, it's actually limited in to a couple of different things. Yes, you are getting more CPU speeds, which you're getting the 5800H at the 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, the, the two downsides though, you are only getting the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti GPU. And the only thing uh, about the GPU on the 3050 is actually limited to only four gigabytes. Uh, one other uh, downside is you can only get 512 uh, stock gigabytes with the SSD. So the reason I went with the Intel uh, processor is uh, it's the current it's one of the current gens the 11th gen processor uh, even though the CPU speed might be a little bit slower but let me tell you something with the SSD that you're getting in this laptop as soon as you press the power button the the screen's on in in less than 10 seconds so. I don't know if you're, I'm not a computer expert, but I don't know if you're able to really tell the difference between 2.3 and uh, 3.2 uh, gigahertz in the CPU speed. But for me, I find that the, the 2.3 is plenty. And also you're getting the, the RTX, the GeForce RTX 3060 um, in the, uh, as far as the video card is concerned. And it does come with the six gigabytes of the VRAM memory. 
All right, one other thing, you are getting the one terabyte SSD uh, for the, when you receive the, when you purchase the Intel version, right? So that's awesome because space goes by so quick and you don't, you're either going to have to purchase a uh, external memory or you're going to have to shell more, um, more money to get even more um, uh, SSD uh, slots uh, replaced. So let's go uh, down a little bit here. Look at that sweet, sweet Asus Tough gaming laptop. Also compatible with Windows. You've got some awesome uh, pictures here. Of course, you got what we discussed right here, GeForce 3060. You got two SSD slots for expandable memory. Uh, it can go up to 32 gigabytes of uh, of memory, which is awesome. You can do more multitasking. Uh, you can do more uh, more of everything with more gigabytes, of course. Uh, so it says up to 32 gigabytes of dual channel DDR4 3200 memory makes everything from multitasking to multimedia rendering. Run fast and smooth. High performance RAM lets you switch between gaming, streaming, and web browsing seamlessly. Keep focusing, keep focused, and keep active with no slowdown in sight. Also has the expandable storage up here. And guys, we're going to go through a whole lot of information. I'm going to skip some of this stuff, but um, I want to basically highlight the uh, awesome uh, features of this laptop. So it's got the speedy 144 hertz display, uh, game at pro speeds with a fast IPS level panel up to under 40 for up to 144 hertz. And I can confirm, of course, that it goes to 144 hertz um, in my FPS uh clock counter in my uh, top right hand screen when I'm playing my games it's it's an it's an amazing feeling being able to get 144 Hertz right uh, smooth adaptive uh, sync technology immersive nano edge bezels and you can definitely clearly see the difference between the pictures on the left and the pictures on the right so there they are um, delivering those delivering those images and those videos you can definitely tell a hundred percent you know which is which. One of the awesome things about this laptop is it has crystal clear audio. Uh, two speakers with four cutout and loud powerful enabling deeper in audio immersion. The DTX Ultra delivers high fidelity audio for clear precise sound. Virtual 7.1 channel surround sound enhances spatial awareness and gain to help you get to the drop on enemies. Up to eight preset moves actually uh, for music, movies, gaming, uh, genres optimize your experience further on top of the built-in equalizer that lets you fine-tune your settings at will. So this is awesome. So in here you've got different uh, features. You've got automatic. You have one for music, one for voice, one for movies, strategy, RPG, shooter, and custom audio. Uh, the one about the one that I like most, of course, is the shooter, is because you can customize it and you can actually hear the footsteps even clearer when enemies are are advancing or uh, if they're further out you can definitely feel it all right going down to thermals you know thermals is actually uh, one of the most important things of getting a laptop because you don't want it to overheat you don't want it to uh, melt anything inside you want it to stay cool right so comprehensive comprehensive cooling uh, sustains long-term system reliability and extends that lifespan of your machine four heat pipes and three heat sinks draw heat away from your hardware and dissipates it quickly keeping component temperatures at minimum levels a self-cleaning cooling design ensures that your cooling system stays debris free for full functionality for the long haul tuned operating modes balance clock speeds and acoustics for the task at hand customizable to your needs so the awesome thing about these fans uh, inside this laptop is it actually cleans itself, which is pretty cool technology. Uh, it's, it gives you uh, plus 10% airflow, and in performance mode, it's 11% quieter. So real quick, there's three modes in this laptop. There's a silent mode for doing like small things, web browsing, things like that. Uh, you have the performance mode is when you want to get up to uh, 60 FPS in games and then you have an option of overclocked mode called turbo mode now for turbo mode you do have to it, you had you do have to have your laptop plugged in 
um, to the charger cable uh, in order to get those uh, 60 plus speeds. It can get quite loud a little bit sometimes, but if you have headphones on, you're really not going to really notice it. So it's talking about the, the self-cleaning, cooling fans. It's got 83 uh, blades per fan, which is really awesome. Uh, it says with zero dB technology, the fans switch off completely when the CPU and GPU temperatures are below 60 degrees Celsius in the silent operating mode. This makes cooling truly silent, silent under light workloads. If CPU or GPU temperatures increase, the fans automatically switch on again. So they are automatic, which is pretty awesome. So it does have a 90 watt hour battery inside the laptop, up to 11 hours of web browsing, up to 14 hours of video playback. One of the awesome things about this laptop is you can get half of the life of the battery already fully charged in only 30 minutes. So it's got that fast charging technology, which is really what you need. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 is really awesome because it lets you game it reliably at LAN speeds wherever compatible connections are available. Wi-Fi 6 boosts network speeds and efficiency providing a better internet connection in crowded spaces. Furthermore, with Wi-Fi 6's TWT mechanism and WPA3 security standard, you can enjoy gaming with extended battery life and better wireless security. Of course, the uh, Asus TUF 17 has military grade uh, bezels and uh, material so it can withstand drops which is really awesome it's got 20 million keystroke presses it's got the RGB backlights it's got a static breathing color cycle and strobing effect uh, for the laptop which is really cool you've got some customizable options here you've got two slots for the M.2 NVMe SSD so you can expand your memory even more also, it does have the up upgradable RAM, like we were talking about, for the up to 32 gigabytes, which is amazing. We've we got the uh, features of the laptop we already discussed here. You can fine tune the uh, personalization of your heat fans, your uh, uh, everything you want to know about your laptop's optimization. You can find it here which is really cool it comes with the uh, the laptop the software does so just keep uh, just going a little bit further here yes okay so getting back to the optimized power and performance it does have dynamic boost which uses the AI to automatically deliver optimal power between GPU, CPU, memory, and CPU to, to boost its performance. So what that means is the CPU and the GPU are constantly interchanging between the two so that you can get the best gameplay, which is really, really neat. Uh, two here, the battery boost, it finds the optimal balance of GPU and CPU power usage, discharge, image quality, and frame rates for longer battery life. Speaking of battery guys, uh, this is something that I did want to mention really quick. Uh, the laptop has an awesome feature called uh, Dynamic Boost and what it does is it clocks the uh, graphics card, the RTX 30 graphics card in turbo mode. Uh, it clocks it to up to 1630 megahertz at 90 watts. Uh, with the GPU boost however, it actually adds another 5 watts available for Dynamic Boost. So you're actually getting a total of 95 watts uh, output. Uh, with the um, with the turbo mode and the other thing I did want to mention really quickly as it does come with a 200 watt uh, power supply for all your gaming needs and you guys can read some of these other ones on the um, on the website if you like but I believe that that this laptop is probably one of the best uh, budget laptops I've ever I've ever bought um, going back to let's go to benchmarks alright guys we're starting to do our benchmark tests we're actually going to be playing Halo Infinite uh, for this test so in the video right now we have our minimum frame rate set at 60 uh, we have our maximum uh, frame, rate, frame rate excuse me set at 144 
and for this uh, particular test we're actually just going to go ahead and uh, start on low as you can see in the uh, right hand box you can see the VRAM usage so right now it's only going to be taking about three gigabytes out of uh, six gigabytes of RAM so which is half which is good you don't want to put too much stress on your uh, your cards or your uh, your hardware so we're gonna go ahead and go to play multiplayer and we're just gonna go into bot boot camp uh, we're gonna skip the lone wolves um, stuff here and if you guys want to go ahead and see my uh, lone wolves season 2 pass um, a video more than welcome to um, so let's go ahead and jump in a game and we'll see what kind of frame rates we get Alright guys, this is our second test for Halo Infinite. We're going to be putting the preset on high and we've got our V-Sync on. Uh, one other thing I did want to uh, show you guys as well. Control Alt Delete. What I want to do is go to my task manager and I want to look at the um, the temperature of the uh, CPU and GPU. Uh, so right now it's actually um, using only 60 uh, percent 60 to 70 percent of the the GPU number one uh, right now it's around 80 Celsius yes I do understand that that is a little bit high um, but in laptops that is going to be a little bit higher so just want you guys to be aware of that that in laptops the temperature is always going to be just a little bit higher all right so we're going to go ahead and go into our second test with Halo Infinite again This is going to be high graphic settings. Uh, menu is hovering around 70 frames right now, 60 to 70 frames. Uh, the matches have been really slow too, um, for some reason in Halo Infinite. Something wrong with the servers. Um, I wish it, I wish they were optimizing it, optimizing it better. But um, you know, sad days for Halo Infinite. Alright, looks like we got us uh, another match for testing out the frame rate, frame rate in um, high. So right now it's around hovering around 60 frames per second still. Uh, seeing what it was doing in low uh, graphics quality settings. So we'll see what it does. Alright, so it seems to be going around 50. Double kill, nice. Alright, so it's still hovering around 50 uh, frames per second here. Usually you get around 50 to 60 frames on uh, high settings. Uh, maybe even a little bit more depending on uh, the server quality and everything like that. So it should depend on, you know, your area, your internet settings, um, your internet quality, your service provider, um, and the settings of your laptop, you know, the hardware everything has you know determines what frames you're gonna get so guys this was um, your frames per second on high alright guys we're here in the uh, final uh, review of the video uh, this one is going to be the pro the pros and cons section uh, for the laptop of the Asus Tough F17 we're reviewing um, Just to kick it off. Uh, there are a lot of pros uh, To getting this laptop and there are very very little cons. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and break those down here um, Here in a minute, so the uh, pros right um, You get such an amazing value for your money um, It's not even funny uh, especially when computer parts these days um, 
are being scalped and price gouged uh, to no limit. Um, that is one of the reasons why I did get a pre-built laptop is because of I know that I don't have to buy any additional parts you know and if I want to upgrade I can uh, you know that is always an option um, but for the what you get the stock um, parts that you get I believe that you're getting a significant value um, on your money uh, like we were discussing the uh, features it comes with that 3060 the 30 series and I'm sure the 30 series if you were to get the regular graphics card you know for a desktop I'm sure it would be really not only it would be really hard to find but I'm sure it will be um, double or triple the price if you're trying to get the desktop version uh, these days and you know a lot of it has to deal with you know economics a lot of it has to deal with um, you know situations you know overseas you know with whatever is going on in the world today that we live in I try not to get you know too political with it but you know a lot of these you know forces are driving up the uh, prices uh, commodities everything like that so my main reason for purchasing this laptop was was actually the specs and the price so that is that is the pros uh, getting a phenomenal deal for um, for what you're getting uh, another thing that um, pretty much pushed me to get the laptop um, it does actually come with um, a year warranty it comes with a uh, liquid spill warranty it comes with an electrical surge warranty and it comes with an accidental uh, drop in damage warranty uh, so I didn't even know that until I opened up the package of the Asus Tough laptop um, there's a little you know pamphlet inside the um, the laptop box that you get whenever you uh, get it shipped to you uh, but this was this is really awesome. It comes with an entire year uh, for free, a warranty, liquid spills. I said uh, electrical surges and accident accidental drops. And of course, if you wanted to extend the warranty too, you can. But that was also uh, a very big added bonus. Another pro um, to buying this laptop was, um, I mean, I know not necessarily this deal is going on now. Uh, but when I did purchase it back in October, um, around October, November, it actually came with the Crisis Trilogy Remaster, which I've never really played um, that trilogy before. So it's going to be an awesome opportunity for me to get um, familiar with the series and actually get through it and play it. Um, it also came with, uh, I believe it's called the Homefront. It's just our um, uh, turn-based strategy game, which I still got to play that for you guys. Um, and it came for that so it came with that so it came with four different games uh, when purchasing this laptop and it came for free too I didn't have to pay any extra for it uh, which was which was amazing right the um, other pros is that um, I love the RGB lights uh, I love the customization that you can do with the strobe I love that you can do um, the color sequences um, you can do different colors you can switch it up uh, even in the uh, settings in uh, the aura for the uh, the program that you use to basically change the lights and everything like that you can uh, do live wallpaper uh, they did some awesome updates where you can uh, select different wallpapers which is really cool um, definitely like that uh, there's just a lot of awesome uh, features on this laptop that I, I really really love and have become you know familiarized with and I just use them every time you know basically I play just about um, we were speaking earlier about the uh, different options that you have when playing games like you have the FPS shooter uh, option you have the music the movie um, you can pretty much use whenever you're doing certain tasks and it, it basically amplifies you know whatever you're using uh, so another pro is it does come with the Wi-Fi 6 which is really cool um, it is uh, with is gigabyte Wi-Fi 6 so you don't necessarily need to land in uh, when you're playing your game oh but it always does help um, when you are land in but the great thing about Wi-Fi 6 is you're supposed to be able to get um, you're supposed to be able to get uh, speeds up to a gig um, with 
over Wi-Fi, basically. Uh, but you know, technology has come a long way, and you know that's that's uh, you know doable. Um, another pro um, about this laptop is is the 17-inch uh, screen. Uh, my old laptop uh, only had like a 15-inch screen. So getting the uh, getting a, a bigger screen by two inches really does make a whole lot of difference. Um, just a little bit of backstory. Um, I had a 2015 uh, Alienware uh, that I purchased. It was the R2 model, I believe. And back in the day, you know, it was it was the top notch um, laptop for the day. Um, I love that laptop to death and it still works great you know but trying to run uh, current gen hardware games on um, on a laptop that's you know seven years old is it is really pushing it to the limit um, was really struggling to even play uh, Call of Duty Warzone even though I liked playing that game you know the laptop really couldn't um, really couldn't um, you know keep up with the uh, strenuous uh, hardware of the of the game, so that's you know when I decided to look online, uh, start doing some research. You know what worked best for my budget. You know um, what had the best specs. You know what had the best bang for my buck, and uh, I found this Asus Tough. Now, this laptop does have uh, a few cons in it. Um, one, it does overheat a little bit. It does get a hot. Um, I mean, of course, that is with all laptops. It is, they are going to overheat, um, but the overheating is not too too bad. Um, it it does get a little bit higher, and I know in the benchmarks we did see that um, 80 Celsius uh, temperature, uh, which is kind of normal for laptops because they always get a little bit hotter than you know desktops because they have less space to basically vent. Um, vent the temperature but with the uh, cooling technology and the fans you know it, it allows it to actually uh, stay quite cool in, in certain areas of the laptop like on the uh, on the top you know and on the sides they get they get pretty cool so that is a really uh, added bonus uh, another one of the cons though this one is kind of just not it's, it's a tad bit annoying but I mean it's it's okay I can deal with it um, as we were going through the features of the um, of the ports and everything like that uh, you guys noticed that almost all the ports almost every single uh, port was on the left hand side of the laptop um, it can get quite congested here uh, on the left side of the laptop when you got the power you've got Ethernet um, you've got the HDMI you've got the two uh, USB 3.2 ports and you've got the microphone in all on one side um, so like I said it can be quite congested um, and the other uh, downside to uh, the other con the downside to this laptop is it only has three uh, USB ports on my old Alienware laptop uh, it had four ports so now I'm fighting for um, you know which one is going to get priority um, which I mean you know, you have, of course, a USB port for your uh, keyboard, or I mean, your uh, excuse me, your mouse. You have a USB port uh, for your headset, most likely, and you have a USB port uh, for you know, uh, maybe a, a charger or uh, another peripheral of a, a gaming accessory. So it's always trying to find. Um, you know balance and um, trying to fight for you know which one's going to be used or not and luckily the the um, headset that I'm using right now was just a you know a smaller Turtle Beach headset um, you can use the 3.5 millimeter head jack um, to to sort of um, mitigate that uh, the other thing that um, that I did to kind of um, get under get that congestion out of the way at the left side is I had purchased a um, a USB to Ethernet uh, dongle so if I really wanted to to kind of mitigate some of that congestion is I can put the um, the uh, the USB to Ethernet uh, dongle on the right hand side 
and that would free up a, a little bit of the wiring and congestion over there uh, so guys uh, I mean that's really that's really um, it for the cons I mean I can't really say uh, a lot of negative things about this laptop because after using it for what October November December January February we're here in March six months later um, I have no real like harsh complaints or criticisms about this laptop that would be you know detrimental that would have prevented me from buying this laptop um, so guys do I recommend this laptop um, is this a good value for your money I believe that this laptop would definitely be rated a a 9 out of 10 um, I'm not trying to you know praise it too much or, or, or give it you know too high remarks that it don't deserve but in my experience with this laptop um, it has given me nothing but um, great gameplay out of games um, it has given me um, every every bang for my buck that I that I uh, invested in it and um, just a little backstory you know again my laptop the old Alienware is about seven years old so you know if I take care of this one you know I can make this one last you know as long if not longer but guys uh, I hope that this review has helped you uh, decide on whether you should be buying the Asus F17 a gaming laptop but in my uh, humble personal opinion I believe that you should go out there and get you a budget gaming laptop such as this you know if you're in the if you're in the um, the search for a, a awesome budget gaming laptop and you just you know you don't have three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars to spend on you know a desktop PC or um, you know monitors and parts and everything like that so like I said in my opinion I believe fifteen hundred dollars is well worth you know the money and and something else too I know that um, Newegg is under a lot of fire right now and that is the um, vendor that I chose to purchase this laptop from you know I know that there's individuals who who've gotten kind of a you know a shaft on you know parts and trying to get returns and and things of that nature but um, in my personal experience Newegg has you know has treated me well and you know has got my uh, delivered to me on time with no hiccups you know no delays um, anything like that um, and I got it on sale too which was which was a really a big deal too and so guys I mean without um, further ado uh, I thank you very much um, if you made it this far into the video I hope you like the video I hope you subscribe if you want to see any more content you know what to do um, you know just comment share the video if you like it and uh, with that King Piccolo Z out.